Today, we are going to try and get the Adept on Astri Yazar, the new survivor coming in with the Dungeons & Dragons DLC. We're going to be running the Mirrored Illusion. This perk activates after completing a total of half of a generator. Press the active ability 2 when next to a generator to spawn a static illusion of yourself that lasts for 2 minutes. Still sight after not moving for 4 seconds as perk activates. You'll see the aura of the killer as well as all generators and chests within 24 meters. And Bardic Inspiration, everybody's favorite perk, where if you basically play a little tune, you get to do gens quicker. It's so loud. Okay, we are on Blood Lodge. I'm gonna go straight to a chest, try and get myself a nat 20. Gimme! Okay, well, we'll take it. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Vecna is right onto us. Straight away. Did he block it? He did. He catches up very quick. Okay, back over here again then. One more loop. Make it round. Make it round. Oh! Strong. Very nice. He's floating on over. I don't think he realized I came a little bit further away. All right, we just keep moving. We keep moving. Oh, God. He's still on us. He is. He wants me so bad. All right. We'll make our way back over here then. That's fine. Oh, no. He's picked up the pallet again. That's okay. We dodged that. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Camp it. Stun him. Okay, he's not going back that way. He's coming back around. Okay, he swung. That's fine. We keep moving. We keep moving. I'm not quite sure what he's doing right now, but we're holding it. We're holding it. Oh, he's faked it. He's got some big, big bloodlust right now that we need to really get rid of. Oh, damn. Spin! <laughs> He's coming straight back. Oh, no. Oh, he wants my guts. You're going to catch up. I think I make the vault, right? Yeah, comfortably. Oh, go for the vault. Do we make it round? Oh, not quite. Not quite with the vault. I don't know if I'm going to get saved. It looks like he's trying to camp me. Oh, Lee. <laughs> he hates. He really hates us. Go away. Get away from me. What a dirty, dirty dog. I'm surprised he's not used his fly ability yet. That's fine. We can do that. Good dodge. Good dodge. I'm gonna pre-drop that. Okay. Back around over here. Make it to the next pallet. The Meg's trying to help out, bless. <laughs> ah, that's unlucky. We are on Wrecker's Yard. Playing a cheeky little song. So from what I understand, now that I've used that perk and played the whole song throughout, if I hit a great skill check, it will increase the progress by like an extra percent or two. And if we rolled like a 20 or, or something higher, we'd get like a huge progress. 
And it affects all the people nearby as well, which is huge. Quick gen. I'm going to try and get the unhook super quick if possible. We do indeed. Lovely. Demo is coming straight back. Go, go, go. That's all yours, baby. Oh, Demo. I'm going to stick around. Adam took the hit. Sheesh. <laughs> we double up. We double up on those. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bro is not here to play games, huh? Nice, just made it around the corner there. Oh! Get him! You know what? It took long enough. Get the double blind. He's looking at the floor, he's sniffing before the feet. Good dodge. Very nice. We're gonna head back this way. We've taken aggro now. He's not a happy bunny, I'll tell you that much. That's fine. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll take a heal as well if you're uh, if you're offering. I mean, you know, you know. All right, I think he might be on us again now. He is indeed. He is indeed. There we go. Nice. We lead him away from the unhook into a complete dead zone. Apparently, almost missed that. He's left. Heading out over to the Leon. Oh. <laughs> it looked like I was just stood there. Sorry. Do you know what we need in these tense kind of situations? A cheeky bit of bardic inspiration. Oh. Boom! Alright, let's go get the unhook. Bardic, though, at least it lasts for an extra 90 seconds, so we've got plenty of time here. Does it work with just generators, or is it, like, healing as well? I wonder if it, like, increases the speed that I heal. Oh, it looks like it did. It did go up a little bit. Oh. Alright, we're heading in basement. We're getting the unhook. Holy. Oh, good dodge. I don't know where we go from here. He's left us again. Play Bardic. I rolled a 16. Is that good? I guess we can play for Hatch then, even though it could spawn pretty much anywhere. Keep your eyes and ears peeled. Look around. Okay, I don't see anything. Hatch. Hatch. Hatch, you're gonna need to come in clutch. Hatch, I'm gonna need you. Please. Please. He's a happy boy, isn't he? RPD. I rolled a two. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother. Oh my goodness. Nope. Absolutely not. Get me out of here now. Please don't be scratched, Mirror. Oh my god, I just saw him run past. No! No! Leave me alone! Oh, I beg. That's okay, we're gonna run back in here. I'm gonna pop the mirrored illusion there. We're just gonna sit on the gen with me and my illusionary buddy. Who needs friends when you can make your own? She's kind of cute, you know. He tiered down, which means it's not permanent, which means that is very good. I don't like the fact. I 
Uh, <laughs> that's a little bit awkward, isn't it? Don't hit me, please! Uh, okay. Well, not much I can do about that, is there? Right, watch. This next chase is going to be a juicer chase. All right, I can at least get to the pallet if he... Uh... <gasps> we see him. Value. I forget. We're getting healed. This is actually useful. So it doesn't count if I'm doing an action. It's only if I get healed. Okay. You coming for me, Mr. Myers? I think he is. Look at these 99. So far, so good. Right, guys? I've been tier 3 spanked. I've been enduring Don. <laughs> okay, we are on Dead Dog Salute. And we're going to go and sit on this gen right here. After we play some Bardic Inspiration. Lovely. All right, now we're sat down. Somebody's already dead, but that's okay. Give me a great skill check. I want to see how much value I can get out of it. Oh, fuck, I missed. <laughs> Two people are down. What's going on? Oh, bollocks. All right, well, room embrace. Everybody's down. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. Straight upstairs. I want to get some value out of this perk, but I just can't. Rolled a cheeky 15. Rolled a cheeky 15. Yes, I did. So from what I'm understanding, Bardic Inspiration is honestly not ideal. It's the sort of perk that's not going to give you a whole lot of value, especially when you're trying to get the Adept in solo queue. I honestly wouldn't recommend even bothering. By the time you've used it, unless you're running in a swift with other people that could get use out of it collectively for 90 seconds... And you hit all your great skill checks. I still don't really think it's worth, honestly. Mirror Illusion seems all right. But, I mean, again, it just... You can kind of see it in the distance. Uh, I, I mean, it's probably quite obvious to the killer that you're uh, not real. <laughs> oh, it just moves it. Oh, okay, interesting. If I complete the gen, do I hold my Mirror Illusion? Um, No. Is the answer to that. What do I do here then? Ah! Drop it. I'm making it. Go, go, go! Hatch! I'm gonna need you to come in clutch for me now! Is there? Yes! We did it! So many painstaking games, and we finally did it. <laughs> These guys are super chill as well. So, here's a couple of tips that I think would be very useful for trying to get the Adept for anybody that is still struggling. Firstly, Mirrored Illusion. Is it worth using? In my opinion, absolutely not. I don't see the point in this. It's just a gimmicky perk. I don't think I got any use out of it in any of the matches that I played leading up to my Adept. I guess if you get the ability and you're sat on a gen anyway, you could just pop it, but it doesn't really matter ultimately. Still Sight, I don't think I tried using once. Not moving for four seconds is so unproductive for me. I might as well be running to the next gen or to the next totem or trying to do something, trying to help a teammate out. It doesn't really give me, unless I'm super stuck on knowing where the killer is, where the gens are, where the chests are, and I'm so lost on the map. 
Again, I don't think this perk is useful at all. Hi, future Sparky here. I thought I'd just quickly mention that Still Sight actually does have a little bit of value if you're stood still while you're being healed by like another teammate, for example. Because uh, you can see some auras. I did get some value in one of the games. And it doesn't activate if you're in the middle of doing an action and healing somebody yourself. So I would still probably try and avoid this, honestly. Thirdly, Bardic Inspiration. I did use this perk quite a lot. Now, I don't think it's necessarily worth it. Especially when I was solo queuing. But if you're in a swift and you're the only person running the perk, I think it could be quite useful if you're all together. Maybe you bring in the offering that uh, allows you to all spawn together. That could maybe pair well with Bardic Inspiration, because that would allow all of you to get value out of this perk. But other than that, I don't think there's a whole lot of use or point in trying to get value out of these perks in order to escape. These are quite gimmicky perks overall, and something that you shouldn't really take seriously when you're trying to get the Adept. So just focus on playing as if you don't have any perks on, and you should be fine. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and comment if you've got any other tips on trying to get the Adept with Ace Tree. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.